What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. This week at TGS we got some fantastic news and that is a remastered collection for Lunar. And not only are we getting another remake of Lunar the Silver Star Story, but we are also getting a remaster of what I consider to be the redheaded stepchild of JRPGs, Lunar 2 Eternal Blue. For some reason that game just gets completely ignored but it is finally getting some love with a brand new version in this collection. So, let's head over to this channel's favorite website of all time, Gamatsu, and check out some new key features. And hopefully I'll be able to show you guys a little preview of some of those features towards the end of the video. All right, so once again, shout outs to Gamatsu. I always come here for my news, especially when it comes to games from Japan. And I recommend that you guys do the same. But while we're here, let's check out some of the key features that are going to be in this remaster collection. Alright, so let's start at the second bullet point. Powerful voices and captivating animated sequences. Immerse yourself in battles with fully voiced attacks and incarnation incantations in either Japanese or all new English voiceover by playable characters and enemies. Not to mention the timeless, stylistic animated sequences that will help capture the hearts of players today. Now this is one of the first games I played that had animated, like anime sequences in the game that just blew me away. Like completely put the story on another level. And the fact that everything in combat is voice acted just helps with the immersion of the game. Such a good feature to have. Now this one's cool. Relive the classic or go remastered. You can swap between the PS1 style graphics or the remastered style graphics with widescreen support and revamp PS1 pixel art. I have my fingers crossed that it's not going to be that smooth out effect that they used in the Grandia remaster. This is being made by the same people who did that remaster collection. So that's really one of the only concerns I have about the way the game looks. If they stick to just an upgraded PS1 style or even have it look like how it does on iOS, I'll be completely happy with that. Two new language options. This is so sick. So the game was already in English and Japanese. Now there's going to be voice options for French and German. So our friends overseas can hear the game in their native language. That's, that's sick actually. And a JRPG grinder's best friend. Speed up battle and improve strategy settings. You can speed up the battle at the flip of a switch which is fantastic if you're trying to level grind. As far as these new strategy settings go, I really don't know what that's about, so I'm really interested to see what those are. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, and a lot of people I've realized don't know this, but Lunar was re-released on iOS quite some time ago, a couple years ago, in fact. I bought it a minute ago, along with Vey, which should be remastered and re-released in some way, shape, or form. Let's get on that, please. A year ago, it got a massive update, like a huge ass update. It added a shitload of features to the game. And I did some screen capturing here to show you what those features are, because a lot of them are going to be similar or exactly the same to the features in the remaster. Let me start this up. So here I'm just going over the graphic settings. Here you can turn it to the Saturn mode or the PS1 mode that the game's natively in. In the remastered version, it's going to switch between PS1 and their remastered version. Unfortunately, no Saturn version. Look how that looks. That looks sick. The Saturn version is pretty typical to the regular PS1 version. I think they released at the same time. And then here you can do the retro menus as well, which is really sick. And this is what it looks like in those menus if you pause it and like explore. It looks really sick, super old school, super old school. And then these are the rest of, this is smoothing. I have it on, I'm concerned how that's going to look. I should have turned it off, man, I don't really like that shit. This is dope, you can't really hear this part, unfortunately. Hold on, let me, let me go back a little bit because this is for the music. You can switch between the classic music or the remastered music. Let me, yeah, let me turn the volume up on this so you guys can hear. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Or not. It sounds sick and you can definitely tell the volume is like the biggest difference. 
and the melodies sound a lot smoother. I like that retro sound from the 32-bit version though. And then these are just like, you can, oh, this is sick here. NPC movement. If you guys have played this game before, NPCs move around in towns and shit, and sometimes they get in your way. So you can turn those motherfuckers off so you can navigate town much easier. And then you can also increase the battle speed here. I never turned on map speed. I have no idea what that does. I don't know why you want to speed. I guess that's world map travel, actually. I never turned that on, but yeah, that makes total sense. World map travel and battle speed. So you can speed up your entire Lunar experience if you like. You can even turn off random battles and you can just zip through the game and get clapped by bosses. And then this here, enemy stats. So the Japanese Saturn version is easier than the PS1 American version. So here you can switch options between those difficulties, which I hope is in the remastered version. I think that would be really cool to have. And then here they have experience multipliers, money multipliers, and then here you can just turn on the frame rate and enable a mouse. You can use a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard on this game in the iOS version. It's actually really fucking cool. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for me. That is all the news we have on the Lunar Remastered Collection so far. Hopefully that preview of the iOS version gives you guys an idea of the key features that are going to be included in this new remaster. And hopefully they include all the features from the iOS version in the new version because that would be fantastic to have things like turning off random battles, turning off NPCs moving. That would be icing on the cake of what sounds like a fantastic package. But if you guys know anything I didn't talk about in this video, please leave it in the comments. Let me know how you guys feel about this game. Have you played it before? Are you looking forward to experiencing it in a brand new way? Let me know and I will see you guys next time. Peace.